And so it was that on the day they were wed, Orpheus did find his new bride amongst the pale trees, snake-bitten and deceased. Through veil of tears, Orpheus there swore that she was not to be forever lost. Ever at war with abysmal grief, he did journey far to reach the dreaded gates of infernal Hades. The bard began his slow descent toward the caverns of the dead. Even his grief had not appeared so bleak as this cursed place. Orpheus came to find the fathomless murk of the river Styx. He encountered Charon, ferryman of the dead. The mortal braved the perilous journey across the dread abyss. So strong was his intent. Then it was that Orpheus reached the depths of Hades. The shadowed souls of our world's dead contorted before his eyes, mocking the mortal on his quest for a love lost still unfound. And so brave Orpheus did finally pass into the court of the bestial lord of Hades. Orpheus brought song to this deathly hall. The court was filled with his lament. It seemed at that moment that the song of Orpheus did bring some of the light of our world into eternally black Hades. So strange was this that even the infernal lord took note and with arched brow he did offer wager to the bard. Orpheus would return to the realm of the living, his bride in tow, but on condition. Orpheus was charged with retracing his steps through the hellish pit. His love was to follow. Should Orpheus turn to gaze once more upon his bride, she would be to him eternally lost. Orpheus turned to once again face the horrors of the caverns. His departure marked with laughter, both rapturous and ungodly, from the Lord of the Dead. Orpheus journeyed on once more at great pains knowing that his love would be there to comfort and caress should he turn. Doubt plagued Orpheus. No sound now followed, no footsteps or taking of breath from his beloved. No words passed. Doubt plagued Orpheus. The bard anticipated the warming glow of the sun, the loving embrace of his bride. Joyful tears flowed freely as he neared his respite. The bard nearly smiled as overcome, Orpheus turned. <laughs> 